bee colonies being devastated that leaves the entire colony decapitated on the ground. There's only one thing in North America right now that can do that, and that's Vespa mandarinia. I'm Matthew Lewis Buffington. So I'm a research entomologist with the ARS, and that's the business of naming species, identifying species, understanding their evolutionary relationships. In our laboratory, that is a focus of insects and mites. If you have more than one name, we have confusion. And I know murder hornet sounds great. We're using the term Asian giant hornet. That's the accepted common name for that species. So I put the specimen in the collection and then submitted my findings to our database. And then the phone started ringing, the email started coming in. I didn't realize what a significant discovery this was because this particular hornet is so destructive to bees and will devastate bee colonies in a matter of minutes. And that's a species that we don't want in the United States because bees are a very important part of our agricultural ecosystem. They will continue raiding bee colonies. It will continue wreaking havoc in their local area until that colony is mitigated in some way. So how do you find a colony? If you've gone out in the woods, woods are a complicated ecosystem. Trying to locate something like that, talk about a needle in a haystack. In fact, needle in a haystack is easy compared to something like this. We didn't know if the nest was gonna be in the ground. We didn't know if the nest was gonna be in the tree. So where do you even look? And it's a species that didn't evolve here. So where is it going to choose to put its nest? All these were unknowns. The idea came if we could radio collar a single sentinel hornet out looking for a beehive raid, then you could radio collar it, it would take you back to the nest. That's been done with other insects. So it wasn't complete sci-fi. But how do you capture the hornet alive, sedate it, put the tag on it, wake it back up and let it go. That was the magic. And that was where Dr. Serrano's work came in. She and her lab developed a lure that would bring the hornet in, not kill it. They were able to sedate it, I believe with carbon dioxide, bring the temperature down. Insects will stop, they won't die, but they'll slow down. They radio collared it and then let it go. And it led them directly back to the hornet's nest. When they found the nest, now you can do something with it. Now you can extract it. In fact, they use CO2 to kind of calm down the whole nest because they wanted to get everything alive. All the larvae, all the pupae, all the different life stages. This upcoming season, are there more nests? Are we gonna find any more Asian giant hornets around? We're hoping Vespa mandarinia does not become an invasive species. It's right now a non-native species. If we can contain it, drive it back, then we've gotten it in time.